going to be doing the left IA, you'll be doing the right IA. We are the only true Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene in Washington State. So the benefit is that students learn in the classroom the theory of dental hygiene and restorative procedures. Then they get to come immediately to clinic and apply what they learned. That is my favorite thing about this program. Right now we're learning how to do local anesthesia for about three hours in class. And then we come in here and we do it on our partners. It's really nice. You just learned it, so it's right in your head, and then you get to practice it, and I'd say it's the best way to learn, for sure. I had no idea what, like, a typical dental cleaning really looked like. I didn't know that you put instruments under the gums, but it turns out that that's the majority of what we do. So see where my thumb is? Here's the coronary notch. I don't think there's a day where you don't learn something new. Teeny bit of decay right here. At first, going into the program, I thought it was going to be like really, really intimidating, but getting to know the professors, it really does feel like we're just one big family, and they're kind of just there to guide us along and kind of tell us like areas that we can improve on. So let's feel for landmarks first. Okay. Yeah. Every student is really individual. Some of them struggle with the dental hygiene piece, some of them struggle with the restorative doing the fillings, because these are skills that they can't learn outside of here. But while they're here for two years, they overcome the challenge and they become excellent dental hygienist. Three, two, three. Working in a hands-on environment is super fun. I feel like a lot of the people in the program are here for that reason because they're very um, dexterous and being able to work with our hands is just something that we always find enjoyable. Go ahead, Katarina. Okay, we buried the bubble. It's a body part and it's a very important body part for the health of the entire body. If you have inflammation in your mouth, you're going to have inflammation in your body. Putting that fire out in the mouth is going to make that body healthier. Like I tell my students, you, you have healing hands that are given to you. Now go and do your job. Our clinic is a 46 chair clinic that serves underserved populations and those that are low income and don't have dental insurance. We accept Apple Health and so we are able to serve a lot of patients who normally would not be able to receive dental care and our students get to learn. We provide care for those that really need it. We do cancer screening, we do local anesthesia, restorative, which is fillings. We obviously do dental hygiene care. We provide many services to the community. If you do not have good oral health, you don't have good health. So we can provide top-notch care. Our patients come out of here saying, I've never had this good of care as I've had in this clinic. It's just an important profession and we need them. A lot of us are retiring, you know, and we still love our profession. And I'm gonna be in it as long as I can, but we need them. Those young hands, those young necks, <laughs> young bodies to do our work. It's definitely a very high demand and most of our seniors had jobs well before they graduated. Lots of our students are from rural, underserved uh, communities, and it's their mission and goal to go back to those communities and provide restorative and dental hygiene treatment for those patients. I hope that they become advocates and leaders in the community. They are amazing, they have the skills and the abilities, and they can be the leaders.